Hello everyone and welcome to the 3 by the Sea Designs YouTube channel. This is episode 40 of our podcast. My name is Kim and I am part of 3 by the Sea Designs, which is a online shop that I have with my mom Drema and my sister Becky, where we sell handmade things for knitters and crocheters, things like hand-dyed yarn, project bags, stitch markers, notions, all of those things that you need for your knitting or crochet experience. So welcome, thanks for joining me. Normally I do not record so quickly since I just put up a video last week, but there were a few things that I wanted to talk to you and show you, so um, talk to you about and show you. So this won't be as long as a normal episode, but that's okay because there are some exciting things to share with you. Plus, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner from last episode to win who won the Beauty and the Beast uh, mystery sock set. All right, let's get started. Today is, what is today? Today's Thursday, February 22nd, 2024, and this is episode 40. I think I said that already. So the big question is on everyone's minds, I'm sure, what is our next mystery sock set theme? I was gonna announce it last week and Becky and I were just toying with some ideas and so we finally settled on one and I'm really excited to share it with you. So if you don't know what our mystery sock sets are, um, every couple of months we come out with a mystery uh, or with a theme that, and we come up with an inspiration picture, sort of a mood board, if you will, and um, that is the um, inspiration for our colorway. It always is a um, 100 gram skein of our Sanibel base, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. It's a fingering weight, and it comes with a coordinating 20 gram mini in the same base. And usually it comes with a charm, we call it the yarn and charm set. Um, so it's a progress keeper that is related to that theme. Uh, we have, have we wore them once? I think one time we've offered the needle stoppers with it. Was it just one time? Yeah, I think it's only been one time, but we are planning in the future to offer that as an alternative. Like maybe every other time we might do a progress keeper and then the next time we might do needle stoppers or some other kind of little notion that we find. Are you guys ready for the theme? I'm going to show you something and I think it'll give you a clue as to what it is and then I'll put the inspiration picture up for you. Ready? <laughs> I have shown her on the podcast before. So you guys probably know who she is, but this is Anne of Green Gables. I actually made this uh, Amy Gurumi crochet doll for my sister Becky uh, several Christmases ago. So our theme is Anne of Green Gables. This is the inspiration picture that we came up with. We're going to call it Kindred Spirits. That is a big theme in this book. This book, Anne of Green Gables, is Becky's all-time favorite book. And um, that's why we were toying with the idea of it because we were like, do we wanna wait and save it for another time or do we wanna do this now? And we were like, let's just do it now because it's lots of spring colors and just beautiful, soft, like the, the, the mood of it is just so beautiful and soft. Um, and we loved the idea of calling it Kindred Spirits. So that is our next mystery sock set theme. It will go up for sale on Sunday, February 25th as a pre-order um, at noon Eastern time. So it will stay in the shop for as long as, like while supplies last basically. We have a set number that we usually do and um, once we've reached the capacity for that, um, we have to take it down at, like it sells out basically. So 
It will ship out at the end of March. So we like to put them up on the 25th of the month before. And then on the 25th of the following month, around the 25th is usually when they will ship. So March 25th at or around that date is when they will ship. You will have them in time for all of your April knitting, nice springtime knitting. Um, what else to say about that? We're really excited about this theme. Like I said, this is Becky's favorite book and we uh, have been wanting to do something with Anne of Green Gables for a while. So we thought, why not do a mystery sock set? Eventually, we would love to have an Anne of Green Gables collection, um, maybe down the road, who knows, we'll see. <laughs> but for now, we're doing the mystery success. So we hope you love the theme. Have you ever read that book? Do you guys like that book? Do you love the story behind it? It's such a sweet story. Uh, two older siblings, a brother and a sister, adopt this little girl and um, they didn't even intend f to adopt a little girl. They wanted a boy to help out on the farm because they were both getting older, And um, but they got a girl. So, and they learned to love her and she learned to love them and they, they needed each other. She needed them and they needed her and they just didn't know it yet at first, but they figured it all out. <laughs> so it's a very sweet story. Um, and we just thought it would be a perfect, beautiful theme for a yarn colorway. The testing phase for the Serene Socks pattern that I designed is underway. I put a testing call out to our Facebook group, which is called The Mermakers. If you're not a part of that, check the description box down below. There's a link to join The Mermakers. It's a private Facebook group. We give all first dibs to the mermakers, so things like sales, um, things that we're adding to the shop, we always announce it there first, things like pattern testing, um, if we have any extras of things, we always let them know about it first. Uh, so definitely check out the Mermakers Facebook group if you want to be a part of that. And uh, so I opened it up to them first and then I put it out on Instagram yesterday because I needed a couple of more sizes. So I have everybody that I need for the testers and everyone is quickly working on them. So thank you all to my testers for testing the Serene Socks. If you missed the last episode, I announced that I was designing a new sock pattern finally have announced i have been wanting to design something for a while now because it's been well over a year since i released the last sock pattern so this is the serene socks if you want to see i'm not going to go into like huge detail right now because i showed it on the last episode but it is a simple ribbed sock and it's uh, a very, very relaxing knit. This is going to be the Serene Sock Set. So we are, for our spring collection, we are going to have the Serene Sock Sets, which is, Serene is the name of this colorway that we came out with last year. That's where I came up with the name for the socks. And it's going to come with a mini in Butterfly Garden, which is a colorway that we will have in the shop for our spring collection. So I should say our spring collection comes out on March 16th, and that is when this pattern will also be released on March 16th. We will have new project bags, new yarn, new stitch markers, and new needle stoppers. We got some super cute needle stoppers. Maybe I'll show you a couple of them now. I will do a preview video where I show everything all at once, but I like to show little sneak peeks, especially because people have been asking about these colorways behind me. So this is Butterfly Garden. This is Lilac. And down here is some of our uh, uh, Tea in Wonderland sets. I know those are probably blurry, so I will show you them up close. This is Butterfly Garden. It comes with two minis, Lilac and Serene. So if you wanted to make the uh, 
serene socks with the contrast colors being these two and the main color being butterfly garden that would look really really pretty or you could do it how i did it where the opposite way where you do the serene as your main color the tonal and the mini is the uh the contrast color is the butterfly garden so you have some options there we will also have lilac as a uh, tonal uh, just single by itself but look how pretty these look together as well as this one all three of these look really pretty together sorry if they're getting a little bit washed out with my lighting in here What a gorgeous shawl those would make, like a three color shawl. Another colorway that we'll have for spring is our Tea in Wonderland colorway. This one is so fun. This was a mystery sock set last year when we did the Alice in Wonderland theme. It comes with a black mini. I mean, black and blue and all these colors, those are like classic Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> the main colorway is called Tea in Wonderland and the black mini is called Stark Raven Mad. Sometimes we do name our minis. Um, not always, but sometimes we do. <laughs> so that's Alice. That will also be in the shop for our spring collection. Uh, there will be a, a couple more colorways too, but I'm not ready to show those yet. I'll reveal them on the uh, on the video for the spring collection. I think we'll do a knit along for the Serene Socks. I think that would be fun. So that since the pattern gets released on March 16th, we'll give everybody a couple of weeks to get the yarn and whatever yarn they want to use and the... Um, pattern so maybe we'll start at like april 1st and go through i don't know however long <laughs> we'll have to think about that and see what what we want to put for the rules but um i think it would be fun to do a knit along for the serene socks i'm going to announce the winner for the beauty and the beast giveaway um where did i put beauty and the beast This was our mystery sock set from the last one that we did, which was a Beauty and the Beast theme. And I announced that we were going to give away the sock set as well as the um, Bell Progress Keeper. And I pulled the winner's name this morning. I'm going to put her name up on the screen. Her name is Linda. So congratulations, Linda. You won the sock set and the progress keeper. So many of you have commented and said that you loved the Beauty and the Beast set. We are going to bring that back to the shop eventually, but for now it was exclusive to the mystery sock set. But we will definitely, definitely bring that back in the future. So congratulations to you, Linda, and please email us at, I'll put it up here on the screen, 3 by the designs at gmail.com. Email us with your um, shipping information um, so we can get your prize out to you. Thank you for everyone who entered and who commented and said all of the lovely things that you said about um, us being in the Knitability Magazine. That was such an exciting thing for us and um, just your sweet words. <laughs> we loved every, reading every comment. So congratulations, Linda, and um, I'll be looking out for your email so we can get that shipped out to you. Someone asked about this project bag on the last episode and I forgot to hold it up and show it. This was one of our project bags last spring. I think we called it tea tea and blossoms something like that it has cherry blossoms on it with teapots and teacups and that was the inside love it 
this is what I'm making. This is what I have the Serene socks pattern in right now. I've only got one of those done. So I thought I would show, I don't have any finished objects because I'm working on my mom's blanket. It's in this gigantic, actually, it's not in this one. <laughs> this is another project that I was gonna show you guys. It's in this extra large drawstring. And the only thing I have left to do is the I-cord edging, the I-cord bind off, which I knew was gonna take forever, so it's okay. And it is taking forever. <laughs> it's not like a regular bind off, but it is so worth it because it is uh, so gorgeous to have this I-cord edging and it's nice and stretchy. So this is what the, let's see if I can hold it up. This is what the bind off looks like. You can see that I-cord going around. So I am on, I'm still on the first side. Let's see if I can hold it up. So this is the first corner. It's, a, it's basically a big rectangle. And then I'm gonna do that. So I'm almost done with the first side. And then I have all three of the other sides to go. <laughs> this is the Cozy Comfort Throw by Molly Klatt. It was designed to use 24 20 gram minis, but I used my row one minis, which are 10 grams, so there's even more color in there. I've shown it a lot on past episodes. So I finished this pinky section here and now I'm just doing the bind off. It's gonna take me a little while to finish the bind off, but that's okay. I'm almost done. I was hoping to have this finished, but I didn't, so. That's all I've got left on that. The only socks that I'm currently working on are, kind of, are the ones that I showed you last week, which were the Serene socks, but I did finish, what well, I did finish the DK one that I was doing, I finished one of them. This yarn is from Kimber's Cozy Creations. So pretty. I like in the pattern how you can still, because on, I wrote the pattern to only do the, um, ribbing on the front you could of course continue it around and do it on the back as well but i like being able to see the actual yarn um fabric that it's creating the colors i like to be able to see that on the sock but i think it looks pretty either way where you continue it around the back or just do it on the front i like it both ways so I have to make the second one of that. And then for the pattern, I'm going to, um, I decided to um, use a skein of Butterfly Garden on our DK Destin base and make the sample out of Butterfly Garden. So this is another DK uh, weight version of the Serene socks. Look how pretty good Butterfly Garden is. And this will be, um, I'll take, when I'm done with these, I'll take pictures of these for the DK version of the pattern. The fingering weight version of the pattern is gonna have the other one that I showed you. This one. So that's uh, the DK socks that I've got going. Uh, and then the only other thing I have to show you I say only like it's not a big thing, but it is a big thing <laughs> and I wanted to show it to you. 
I had said that I was not going to cast on anything new until my mom's blanket is done. And I've been saying that for weeks, other than socks, of course, but I've been saying that for weeks and I've been dying to cast on a shawl. I've, I've said, I think in the last couple episodes that I'm really into like shawls again. So Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears has a new pattern that she came out with, uh, maybe like late last year or maybe around Christmas time called the My Reading Shawl. And it's striped, it's a DK weight shawl because you hold fingering weight double. And it is just so squishy. I love that it's DK, I've never made a DK weight shawl. Um, so I was like, why am I waiting? My mom's blanket's almost done, just cast it on. Because I had this idea that I wanted it to look like something you know got you guys know how i love to fade things i love to fade colors in and out i love projects that require fading this particular one does not this one is actually um it's meant to um you where you could use an advent calendar with it actually there's 12 sections um and you would hold your 20 gram mini double for the for the colors and then you would stripe in between with a contrast color you can really do it however you want it's scrappy looking and it's just so squishy and cozy so but of course me miss i have to fade everything <laughs> i don't know why i just love i think with fading you can you have so many different options you can choose from and really make it your own so I had this idea and I'll put a picture up of it here because, you know, as you guys know, we live in Florida and I love everything beachy and I just, I've been slowly adding some beachy decorations and I just want to go for like a beachy vibe inside my house, even though I don't live on the beach, but we live very close, you know, to that, to the beach area. So, um and there's water all around us. We live right next to a river, a huge river that feeds into the Tampa Bay. So I don't know. I just would really like to have that sort of beachy vibe in my house. And I thought, how pretty would it be to see this beachy looking shawl laying over your chair, you know, while you're reading or knitting? I thought it would look really, really pretty. So I had this idea based on this picture of um, the sand and then the white on right on the shoreline and then slowly moving into the aquas and greens and blues and then darker into the ocean. So that was my idea in my head when I started this shawl. So naturally I went to all of my scrap yarn <laughs> and leftover yarns and found anything and everything that I could that would look like that picture. And I put them all in this bag. Let me show you the bag. Some of them are down in my, down in my, project bag already that I've already used but basically I pulled blues greens aquas anything like white um, tan colors anything I could and put them in this bag and then I I got them all out and laid them out how I wanted them to look how I thought maybe they would look pretty faded so without further ado please don't let me be in the middle of a row no I'm not so without further ado this is my reading shawl beach style <laughs> i guess you could say so here's where i'm at so far so i have of course i started with a sandy tan color moved into some creams as you get lighter on the beach and then this is right where you see the water start to hit the actual, like where the waves are breaking. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is some Stellina 
it's probably not going to show up. There is some Stellina in this white because it's just a white Stellina base. And then I started, so I found um, a scrap of yarn that I had, or, or like a mini or something that had these speckles of blues and greens. And I thought, well, actually this first one I, what, was from my advent calendar from that I was working on last year um, for Christmas. It was just all the right colors, but it had a little bit of like browns and golds in there. And I thought that was pretty. And then this one was just speckles of blues and greens. And so I just faded in anything I thought looked like similar to those colors, graduating into the greens. And now I'm into like, this is just aquas. And this is a DK weight, so I'm holding all of these fingering weights double. So this is where I'm at right now, and I'm just pulling from the center and the, um, the end, the outside. I'm loving it. I'm obsessed. I can't put it down. Seriously. This is why my mom's blanket isn't done. And I knew, I told myself, you should not start this until her blanket's done. <laughs> but I just couldn't resist. I needed something like... I don't know, color-wise, that was just going to make me so, so happy. And I'm really happy with how it's turning out. And so I don't really have a specific formula for the fade that I'm doing. I'm just, because, see, when you're holding fingering weight double, it's, a, it's more fun to fade things in because you can fade out one of the colors and fade in the new color um, since you're holding things double. For example, this color I was holding double and then right about here, I cut one of the strands of this one and added in this cream color. So from here to here are these two colors held double. And then I got to this section and I held just the cream to double for a couple minutes and then I added in the white. So I was holding cream and white together here and then just the white by itself. And so I kept going with that, that kind of technique throughout. And so it's, it still looks stripey. It's not completely like where you can't see the stripes at all but it's got a nice fade to it. So I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. And I think when it's done, laid out over, cause you know, it's gonna go for a while, but laid out over a chair will definitely add to the beachy vibes. So I'm where I'm going with this is just to keep getting more from aqua into blues. I'm going to add in some teals. These are the colors that, and eventually it's going to go dark. It's going to go all the way like dark blue, where it's like true ocean colors. So I'm really excited about this. I would like to make one with an advent calendar where you're just striping the minis in um, how she intended it, but I love the fade too. I just, I really love, and you're using up scraps. Like I'm using all leftovers and scraps from other projects that I've been saving. It's the My Reading Shawl by Kay Jones. Fantastic, fantastic pattern. This is what it looks like. I know that's black and white, but whoops. That was her idea with the stripes. And it looks so cute like that. And of course, since it's a beachy shawl, I have it in my summery tie-dyed extra large drawstring. that we had in the shop last summer. 
the, I'm telling you guys, the extra large drawstrings are so good for these bigger projects. I have all of my yarn for that and the shawl itself in the bag. The other one for my blanket, for my mom's blanket, I have, I mean, it fits perfectly. So I really like that extra large drawstring size. I forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing. This is the Love Note sweater from Tin Can Knits. It has this really pretty lace work on the front. Well, actually around the whole yoke. I've shown this a lot. I've worn it a lot on this podcast. I have a purpley, purple um, tank top on underneath this. So it's kind of cute because the purple shows through. Um, one thing I really like about, I, I made this oversized, but one thing I really like about it is um, that it's longer in the back. I don't think I'll be able to show that but it's longer in the back than it is in the front. So it covers my bum nicely. What else? Um, this is a fingering weight held double with a Surrey. And I made the sleeves three quarter length. It's very, very soft and I love it. What else? That's it. I hope you guys are excited about all the things that we're doing. <laughs> um, the pre-orders go up on Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, the 25th, for Anne of Green Gables. The uh, sock set, or no, the Serene Socks pattern, as well as our spring collection, are coming out on March 16th. I will do a preview video before that. Uh, anything else? Thank you to everyone who shopped our Salty Skeins sale. I knew they would go quickly. And I told you guys <laughs> they were going to go quickly. And they did. They sold out, I think, a couple of hours, maybe. And that was, um, most of everything was gone within the first hour. You guys loved it. So thank you for shopping the Salty Skeins sale. We uh, will probably do those maybe twice a year because they're a lot of fun. Congratulations to Linda, our winner. I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was a short and sweet episode. We will see you again on the next podcast episode, which will probably be two weeks from now because I don't think I'll record next week since I recorded again this week. So thank you guys again, and I will see you again soon. Bye.